2005, we realized that there wasn't a, an Asian film archive that was keeping films that were you know, being screened at film festivals, but nobody else would have the chance to see it once it fell out of the festival circuit. We wanted to provide a home for independent films that actually didn't have a place in any other archive in the world. And we saw that this would be a place that people could come to to do their research, to watch films that they wanted or missed. Um, and we would then be saving a whole new generation of films for a whole new generation of viewers. And that was how the whole institution of AFA started. An archivist needs to be very tenacious. You need to constantly continue to chip at it even if people slam their doors on your face. A lot of times when we go to filmmakers, they say, I don't have the time at this point in time. Come back to me later, come back to me later. And I hope filmmakers can understand that you're actually helping them, but they've got to help us so that we have something that's theirs to keep. And it's a real shame if they should lose things and not realise it till much later when they actually need it. Um, An archive is where we pull all of these things together. We're not just talking about the film, we're talking about materials that go with the film. For instance, your scripts, your storyboards, your music, your photographs. If we didn't do what we do, I think our society would have lost something very precious even after we're long gone and hopefully that film will be there for our children to see.